Hi everyone, welcome to Annabelle's Finquita. In today's episode, I'll be collecting, picking some beans, bush beans in this case. This is my fourth time harvesting these plants here. And all you need to know about beans is that there's two types, basically the bush beans and the pole beans. The bush beans, as the name implies, they grow as a bush. They grow like certain height, like two or three feet and then they'll give you fruit and you can harvest them two or three times in their lifetime. The pole beans, they need some kind of a structure to grow on it, like a trellis. They could get up to 10 feet high, but uh, the bush beans like this ones, you don't need any kind of structure. They're really easy to grow. It only takes like two months for them to grow and be established and give you fruit. They're also known as snap bean because they do this. I don't know, there's some noise because some people are cutting trees next door, but they snap when you cut them. And if they make the sound, that means they're, they're fresh. Let me try another one. Now that they're not, like this one here, listen. See? You know, sometimes with the gloves, it's harder to pick them, but I always use my gloves because uh, I don't want to get a bite from a spider, which I have before. <laughs> uh, spiders are very good insects on your plants because they will eat the aphids and the small beetles. Look, I just found the, the pests that attack your beans. You see those yellow caterpillars there, the yellow ones? They've been eating the leaves. I don't know the name, it's my first time seeing them, but I wanna show it to you. You can use neem oil for sure against that. But yeah, I see they're everywhere. And see there, I'm not gonna bo be bothered by that because this is, a, this is a plant that's been giving me a lot of beans. And it's time for the pest to take some from it too. So oh, that's the way it works here at Annabelle Finquita. Everybody will eat from my garden, even past. <laughs> but I've seen uh, still small beans on this plant, like this one here. So I'll probably be able to come one more time, one last time, and harvest some more. You want to pick the bean when it's a medium size, like this one is perfect. Not too big, not too small. When you pick them too big, they get kind of hard and it's harder to digest. You have to cook them more before eating it. I plant some more uh, beans on the other side of the garden that uh, they're going to be ready to harvest by the end of September. It's always good to succession your plants. That way you have vegetables all the time. I right, check all this. This is wonderful. So many beans here. Amazing. The only bad about harvesting beans is you could hurt your bag because you have to be bending down all the time. So bush beans are very, very easy crop to grow. They basically don't need you to do anything. Just plant the seed on the ground. You don't need to fertilize them. And when they die, they'll give a lot of nitrogen to the soil. So it's a very good plant to grow every year for your soil and for the benefits that this vegetable will give to your body. See, they're still flowering. See the flowers there? That means it's gonna have more beans. <laughs> the never ending beans, bush beans. Everywhere I turn, there's more beans and more beans and more beans. <laughs> oh goodness, this is amazing.
Okay, I just finished with the purple ones. And I'm going, I did leave some, some of them on the plant, like this one. Oh, that one broke. But, um, yeah, because every time I turn, I see more and more. <laughs> I think two buckets is good enough for now. I mean, there's still medium ones and small ones on the plant that I could come back later on and harvest again. Like I said, it's amazing. So I'm gonna go and harvest some green ones. I'm gonna put this here now. Let them breathe, you know. And I'll make packages with the sea plot and we can sell it for $5, the, the sea plot bag. So my beans there. I'm gonna leave them there for now. Okay, let's start with the green ones. Yeah. I can find a difference between the green ones and the purple ones in, in taste, basically. And I read that, you know, in general, all varieties of beans, they taste um, almost the same. One thing I can tell you, when you cook the purple ones, they turn green. They lose the, the purple color when they, you know start cooking the heat will turn them green again yes look I found more purple here hiding and so many this one we're kind of getting too big already so it's good that I came here to harvest them now They're full of the caterpillars. And the caterpillars are very pinchy, so you have to use gloves or, you know, you're gonna feel that pinch in your hand. And you can make an allergic reaction if you're not used to it or you don't know. So it's better to use gloves when doing this. This is so rewarding after all the efforts. The best part of gardening is harvesting. For sure. My bag <laughs> okay that's enough of beans for today I think almost two buckets and some tomatoes so now in the next I'll be back here in the next couple of weeks with the beans and harvest a little bit more see all that here those are beans too that I just planted but like a week ago yeah, these are the new beans plants. I see they've been attacked already. But I planted a lot, so some of them will survive. And that's the good thing. I plant a lot, that way I always have plants growing. I need to come back and harvest again. Look at those cucumbers. They're too big already. It's exhausting. So many cucumbers. <sighs> Oh my goodness. And these are my beets. My beets are big too. Look at this one here. It's beautiful. Next Monday, I'm going to harvest them. I'm going to leave them here. But the cucumbers, I need to harvest again. The more you harvest, the more fruit will give you the plant. I need to harvest again the cucumber. I, I need to make sure there's no big cucumbers left on the plant that's starting to seed because that happened, the plant will start producing. Now here's my corn. See the corn stalks? Just waiting for my daughter to come to have the honor to harvest the first corn on the farm. And she loves corn. It's been damaged by the Japanese beetle. 
this is damaged by the Japanese beetle but I'm sure we're gonna have something for us too so I'm very excited some of the plants are younger than the other ones these are the males with the pollen and the females are the silk at the bottom receiving the pollen this is the silk that receives the pollen and then will make the stuff grow yeah so the male organ on top the wind will come and all the pollen will go down to the stock and produce the corn inside the kernels see these ones are young ones see this is all going down and pollinating the the stock the corn here this one has three oh there's two plants here usually a corn plant will give you one to two corn stalks <laughs> there's some kill behind it incredible and this is sweet short i don't know if you're familiar but it's very it's like it's very similar to kale and it's very nutritious you can eat this in salads i usually eat it with my eggs in the morning and refry them and eat it with my eggs and you want to eat them when they're young these are beautiful ones look at the leaves they're very colorful look at the stems red stems back here I have my watermelons they're hiding in the jungle but i noticed that's the best way they grow instead of an open field they like to hide i saw one here growing see this one here wait a minute there's one watermelon hiding there see that one <laughs> and let me show you the other ones this is this is all watermelon plant they they spread out with vines all over this tiny one here this one is exposed to the sun and this one here and i saw another one back there somewhere in that bushy um oh here's one here's another one Let's go ahead. another beautiful watermelon i think there's more there anyways these are my zucchini plants left my onions still growing look at them these are red ones they look beautiful coming out of the ground already i got the yellow and the white ones too and my peppers here so everything is you know giving fruit already i just need to harvest some keep harvesting that's the key to keep harvesting that way the plant will keep growing and growing and give you more fruit these are the yellow onions you see it there they're all yellow and i think the white ones well they're combined like this is a white one i just purchased a package at walmart and i mixed them here look that one's pretty big i could harvest that and eat it and use it right away but um i'm gonna let them grow a little bit more and the leaves are still straight up so that means they still can grow more when the leaves start to die and come down that's when they're ready to harvest it's still growing beautiful need to harvest more zucchini and i only got one butternut squash only one here <laughs> That is giving me butternut squash. I have one, two, this one's the biggest one, three. Uh, I saw another one there. There's one, four. So I'm excited about that butternut squash plant. Hopefully it's not gonna die. Peppers are ripening. Look at this beauty here. They're ripening. Look at this one here. See the change of color? It's ripening. It's gonna turn all red like this beauty here. And the plants are full of it, full of peppers. Look at the size of this pepper. Look at that, look at those peppers. 
They are gigantic. Look at this one turning red here. That's beautiful. That's amazing. My goodness. So all that is peppers. I got bell peppers. And these are sweet peppers. I don't know the variety. They were given to me by a friend. But they're very tasty and sweet too. They're starting to ripe. So anyways, that's it for today. Uh, I show you a little bit of my garden, um, how everything's going. Um, we, today we picked bush beans, which are great for yourself. And I, I encourage you as always to grow your own garden and your backyard and even in pots, anything that you can grow when you see the fruits and you can eat them, that's organic food for your body, which is the best food ever. And that's your medicine as well. See you in my next episode. Bye-bye.